Hey, what is happening guys? It's Rules for Rebels here and I'm really excited about this video that we're doing today. We're talking about a program called Merch Informer. Now Merch Informer is an analytics program specifically designed for Amazon Merch. So the same way that Terapeak helps us get stats on eBay, Unicorn Smasher and Jungle Scout help us get stats that are going to help us sell on Amazon. Uh, Merch Informer helps us get back-end stats that are going to help us know uh, what t-shirt niches to make and what t-shirts to make. So uh, we, I've talked a lot about Amazon Merch in the past. For those of you guys who aren't familiar with it, it's a great program. Uh, you have to apply with Amazon about two weeks later. Most likely you'll, you'll get approved. Uh, you can then either design your own t-shirt designs or hire somebody on Fiverr to design t-shirt designs. You upload that design to Amazon. You put some item specifics and put a little description to it. And your item is live on Amazon. What's so cool about Amazon Merch is as opposed to Teespring, where you know nobody actually goes to Teespring actively shopping for shirts, you're having to drive your own traffic there, people actually are on Amazon shopping for stuff. So uh, that's why I think Merch is so much better than a lot of the other t-shirt programs. Uh, so in this video, I'm gonna be kind of giving you guys a rundown of what uh, Merch Informer does and what it does for you. Um, but before we do that, I just wanted to go over and pull a couple of reports and give you guys an idea of how exactly this works. Um, they do offer a free three-day trial. I got an email from these guys a couple weeks ago that they were releasing the beta program or the beta testing uh, version of Merch Informer. I've been meaning to sign up. I finally got around to it yesterday evening. I've only had a chance to play around with this for 10 or 15 minutes. So this video isn't supposed to be like an all-encompassing everything about Amazon Merch, uh, or I'm sorry, Merch Informer. Um, I am going to make a couple follow-up videos showing you guys how to install this because it's a little bit tricky as well as going more into depth on reports and things like that. But really quickly, I just wanted to show you guys a couple of example reports. One other thing, I only have this trial for three days. So in the description box below this video, I'd like you guys to start shouting out terms, keywords, phrases, et cetera, that you want me to search. And in a follow-up video, when I show you guys exactly how to use this software, um, I'll, I'll use some of your guys' search terms. So we're gonna go down to the advanced competition checker. And again, I'm just really briefly gonna show this to you guys here. Uh, we're going to search uh, marijuana, we're going to search uh, sailing, and we're going to search, what's, uh, what's another term we can search? Um, we can search hunting. So if we click search, uh, this can take up to 20 seconds, normally it's typically a bit quicker. And uh, the countdown is going to happen here. And in a second, what we're going to see is a score given for each one of these words. So the phrase we searched is marijuana, sailing, and hunting. Here are the total number of Amazon results for those terms. Here, or actually, here is the total number of t-shirt results on Amazon for those terms. Here is the number of t-shirts that are being sold through Amazon Merch. And then it's given a score A through F um, in terms of is it a good category keyword to go into um, are there enough searches for it? Are enough people buying t-shirts in that niche? And also, how is the competition? And then lastly, are there sellers who use that exact phrase in their branding? So uh, on Amazon Merch, you have to come up with a brand name. There's some disagreement. Some people seem to say it helps you SEO-wise or, or rank on Amazon by actually having your, your brand contain the word that you're doing. So if I'm doing a marijuana shirt, I might want to call my brand Marijuana Bob. Now, Personally, I don't think that has a, a lot of pull in the search rankings, but a lot of people do. So, you know, make your own decision there. Another tool here we have is the product search tool. And this is going to pull up the top 100 shirts for whatever word, whatever we choose. So uh, let's do yoga. And if we don't check that box, it's going to pull up all t-shirts on Amazon. If we check this box, it's only going to pull up Amazon merch shirts. So technically speaking, both merch and non-merch shirts are going to be your competition. Uh, however, if I'm getting ideas for shirts or want to, you know, I, I prefer to check the box for only Amazon. And in about 10 seconds, we're going to have our results here. There's a whole lot of other cool tools with this Amazon merch. We can click add to favorite. So let's say I wanted to make like shirts about dogs. I could create a favorite category called dogs. And then I could create subcategories, one called bulldogs, one called French bulldogs, and one called collies. And as I find example shirts that I like, I can add them into my favorites. And kind of the purpose of that, a lot of people like keep spreadsheets and stuff to keep themselves organized or keep Excel sheets. Uh, with this, you can actually just keep everything organized right on here. So um, when we search yoga, uh, 
the best ranked shirt up here, which is 22,946. Uh, says exhale, and it has a unicorn doing yoga. Um, he's got the second most popular shirt, which it looks almost the exact same. I think he might have changed the color of that loop behind him. This guy's got like the top. Oh, my gosh. Yoga shirts are getting dominated by the stupid unicorn. Um, let's see. What's this one? Uh, Women's Namaste Home with My Dogs uh, shirt is a popular one. Um, I drink bourbon and I know things. I don't know what that has anything to do with yoga. Um, let's see. What else do we got? Yeah, I'm not really liking yoga. Let me do another search term. Um, weed. Okay, so we searched the term weed. We have the top 100 t-shirts. <clears throat> Here's a shirt by Dankity Dank Designs. Uh, I'm going to highlight that because we're going to pull another search of him in a second here. Uh, Go Green t-shirt. Um, and we can see their features. So here's where if you're making a, a weed-related shirt as well, you can kind of get an idea of what other people are doing in terms of keywords. I'm actually kind of surprised that this guy's ranking as high as he is because, in my opinion, he doesn't have very good uh, features on his shirt. Let's... Uh, uh, oops, let's go back. You know, typically you'll see somebody with a lot of like keywords and things like that. Um, this person has no description and go green vape nation. So they don't have the word weed. They don't have marijuana. They don't have legal, you know, anything that people would normally be searching for. So this is kind of an anomaly to me that this is ranking so well, um, with kind of such a poor listing, but, uh, you know, I may want to try to compete with this guy. Uh, his sales rank is 103,955, which isn't fantastic, isn't terrible. Um, here's a Bob, Bob Ross happy t-shirts. Um, and oh, I, I almost forgot to show you guys. So here's the tools. We can add this product to our favorites. Uh, we can do a copyright check and see if anybody uh, owns the copyright for basically this phrase. I thought that was pretty cool. We can report infringement. So if you find somebody who's selling your shirts, you can report infringement. And then lastly, we can do a competition check. And total products with this label are 21. So there's 21 different people that have a Go Green uh, marijuana t-shirt. Um, you know, if we went down to Cannabis Soup, um, we can check the copyright. It doesn't look like anybody owns a copyright to that. Um, we can report infringement. We can do a competition check. So only two shirts out there um, are Cannabis Soup. So this one has less competition. Um, so that's just kind of an example of what like the product, I believe it's a yeah, product search. And then lastly, you have something called a merchant shirt. Uh, merchant search. So we could either click here and copy and paste in one of these merchants names, or we can just click this guy's name here. It's automatically going to bring us over to merchant search. And we'll wait for that clock to stop ticking there. Okay, now we're going to be seeing shirts only being sold by Dankity Dank Designs. Um, so this guy's got a pretty good selection. This guy's got 70 t-shirts up. And if I like his designs and like how he's doing things and I want to see other niches that he's in because the guy's obviously su successful, I can look through here and see... Uh, He's got a Pokemon, Yi. So it looks like he does some like anime type stuff. He's got a frog ride in the unicycle, uh, Arthur's Clench Fixed, Harambe. So it looks like this guy kind of tries doing a lot of like trending things. Um, but yeah, we can kind of browse through his shirts. He's got a few weed shirts, a lot of just random shirts, dank meme. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what uh, what this program is. Uh, like I said, I am going to make some follow-up videos going more into depth on, on everything this program does, but let's just take you back here. The pricing, they have three different price points. I don't quite get how it gets any better. Um, for $9.99, you get the basic plan. Oh, uh, you know, it, it, you don't get any more features. You basically just get a discount for signing up for six months or a year at a time is how it works. If we go over here, we can just kind of see uh, it's fully secure. So because you're connecting this to your Amazon account, they want you to know it's secure. Uh, niche what does it tell us about niche data? Uh, Merchant Former gives you all the niche data at your fingertips to help you make decisions. Find out what consumers want and exactly what is selling. Find the 100 best selling t shirts for any keyword. See product features, description, and sales rank. Uh, save each design as a favorite to send to your designer. Uh, check on copyright, report infringement, and ch check competition all in one place with one button. Uh, organize finding designs is the easy part. Keeping them organized can be a real struggle. Uh, so I think this is one of the big benefits of this. In the past, if I was browsing around on Amazon trying to find examples of shirts I like to send to my designer, I just wind up sending myself like 10 emails with links to Amazon shirts, and I never wind up going back and checking them. So we can kind of keep a list of favorites here. 
Uh, and it says it's lightning fast, Merchant Former saves you time. Search multiple keywords at the same time to pull up hundreds of results, all sorted by best sellers rank. You'll know exactly what is selling and what niches people are currently buying in. Research 500 products at a time in just minutes. Uh, so this is, could you do all this stuff on your own? Yes, but not nearly as quickly and not nearly as, as well. So could you just go on Amazon.com and start looking for like weed t-shirts? Yes, but it, it's tough to know what's a, a merch shirt and what's not a merch shirt. Um, it's just really labor intensive. You're going to be pulling up a lot of unrelated searches. This program is specifically designed for Amazon Merch. Um, so I am going to make a follow-up video kind of going in-depth on all the features and how to use this program and everything else. Um, but just initial impressions, I really like it. The interface or layout, whatever you want to call it, is really user-friendly. They have a couple example videos here showing you how to use it. You're not overwhelmed with tools. There's literally three different types of searches you can do here. They do offer a free three-day trial. Um, so there's really no risk. They do make you enter a credit card, which I kind of don't like about trials, because even if you don't like the program, you have to remember to go back in and, and cancel it so your credit card's not charged. Uh, however, I think I may wind up keeping this at $9.95 a month. Uh, I thought they did a clever job of marketing. They said for less than the cost of two t-shirt sales, uh, you can have this software. So basically, if this software helps you sell two t-shirts a month, it essentially paid for itself and probably put an extra two bucks in your pocket. So if you find this useful, if you think it's going to help you sell shirts, you are going to make your money back quickly. And it actually does get cheaper if you buy a, a full year up front. It only comes to like eight bucks a month or something like that. Um, so yeah, this is what Merch Informer is. You know, I'm a huge fan of Terapeak. I'm a huge fan of Jungle Scout. I'm a huge fan of Unicorn Smasher. Here's another great tool to help us kind of crack Amazon Merch. A lot of you guys have been asking me how much success I've had on Amazon Merch, etc. And, you know, Amazon Merch is tough, guys. Like, in all honesty, like, have I been putting a ton of time and effort into Amazon Merch? No, I haven't. I, I could have been putting out more designs. I could have been putting out better designs. I could have been spending more time crafting better descriptions and things like that. So I've kind of done Amazon Merch kind of half-assed and very passive. So I think that kind of attributes to my sort of lack of su success on there. I have sold a few shirts. I have made a few bucks, but nothing huge. And because you're only making a fraction of a sale <clears throat> or a commission on a sale, I think on most of my shirts, because I choose to sell the uh, American Apparel shirts, I'm only making like $5 and some change off a shirt. So you figure if I sell 100 shirts, that's only, or I'm sorry, if I sell 20 shirts, that's only $100. And I mean, if you get something going viral, you can sell a lot more than that. But 20 shirts is, is a pretty good amount of shirts to sell, and you're only going to make 100 bucks. So because of relatively low payout, I haven't put a ton of effort into it. Uh, but with this tool, I think I can be much more targeted and strategic with the types of shirts I make. Instead of just blindly going in and selecting a niche and getting a shirt made and hoping it sells, here I can kind of find out, are people actually buying shirts in this niche? What types of designs are they buying? Um, how is the competition? And so I, I think I'm going to keep this beyond the three-day trial and, and sign up for at least a month and uh, play around with it. Like I said, I... Of my 50 designs I'm allowed to have, I think I only have about six or eight designs up right now. So I really need to max out my designs, get some stuff made. So I'm going to put a focus on uh, Amazon Merch here moving forward. Uh, it's going to be my little project for the next month. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions about this program. It's a little bit tricky to set up, so I will be doing a follow-up video showing you guys how to link Amazon Merch up to your accounts. You're basically going to need three things. You're going to need a Amazon Web Services account, which is free to sign up for. You're going to need an Amazon Merch account, which is free to sign up for. And you're going to need an Amazon Associates account, which is their affiliate program to sign up for this. And it's it's a little bit complicated to sign up or to get everything uh, set up properly, only because there's three different programs you have to use. But all in all, I had the entire thing set up in about three minutes. So I'm going to do a walkthrough video showing you guys how to set this up. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you guys have questions, drop them in the comment section below. If you guys have terms, keywords, et cetera, you want me to search, uh, please put them in the comment section below as well, and I'll make a follow-up video searching some of the words that you guys want searched. So thank you guys so much for watching. I think you're going to find a lot of value in this program. Um, for those of you guys who are selling on merch, uh, let's see. If, if you guys have any friends uh, who are doing T-shirts, doing merch, etc., please share this video with them. I think people may like to know about this tool, and it's in beta testing. So if... Uh, if everything works properly, which it looks like it does, I imagine they'll probably be rolling out some additional t features, maybe showing you the top 100 uh, Amazon merch shirts on Amazon and things like that as well. So we'll see what happens with this, but I'll be doing a few follow-up videos on this in the next week or two, um, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. We'll talk to you later.